At a colorful event at the forecourt of Parliament House, President Akufado says he will work closely with Speaker Alban Gbagwin and Parliament to achieve the target the government has set for itself. In the presence of over 15 African heads of state and envoys from other parts of the world, Nande Akufado promised to cooperate with Parliament during his second term in office. Nearly three decades of devoted service to Parliament by you has culminated in this moment, which has seen your elevation to the third great office of state of our nation. Together, you and I will be chartering new territory in the governance and politics of the Fourth Republic. For this is the first time in the life of the Republic that a president from one party will be obliged by the exigencies of the moment and the will of the people to work in all sincerity and cooperation with the Speaker of Parliament from another party. I'm confident that both of us will be guided in our relationship by the supreme interest of our people in ensuring good governance in the ordering of the affairs of state. I want to assure you of my wholehearted determination to work with you to advance the peace, progress, and prosperity of the Ghanaian people. The president also promised government will extend electricity to areas yet to be covered by the national grid. With the firm foundation laid in my first term of office, we shall take a significant step towards reducing the infrastructure deficit that has placed us all throughout our nationhood. The remaining 15% of our communities without electricity will be covered by the end of my second term. We have already begun constructing hospitals in the remaining districts that do not have one, a process which will be completed within the year. On infrastructure, the president says majority of road projects which were not completed in his first term, will be completed in the second term. Our roads are being constructed at a much faster pace than before. And yes, I acknowledge that there are still many more kilometers to construct. We defined last year as the year of roads. This year will be the second year of roads. As we continue with our focus, on dealing with the deficit in our road infrastructure. The development of our rail sector, on which considerable resources and energies are being devoted, will open up the country and lead to the creation of a more connected society and will also help realize the goal of regional and continental integration. Okay.